Hey, seventh graders, it's me, Mr. Stark. Uh, trying number three on trying to get this set up so that I can have it for you. Uh, the photosynthesis notes that you've been working on. Um, anyways, we're going to start with uh, this first section up here at the top. Let's rotate that. That first section is the formula for photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis takes place uh, in the plant. Um, there is a chemical reaction that takes place. It starts on the left with these reactants of carbon dioxide and water. There are six of each of those. It uses the sun's energy to produce one glucose or sugar molecule and six oxygen molecules. So that's a whole summary of what's, what's happening here. But let's take a closer look at what happens um, particularly within the whole process of photosynthesis. So rotate back. All right, we'll start with the uh, energy from the sun here. Uh, the sunlight from the sun, 93 million miles away, travels to the earth. And uh, plants, trees, they tend to absorb this energy and use it to make the, the food that they need. They use it to make glucose. Okay, they, um, they also absorb water through their roots, and they also absorb carbon dioxide through their leaves. Okay, so the sunlight gets absorbed uh, in the leaves in a small little organelle called a chloroplast. The chloroplast contains chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment that makes the plant green. Um, that is the way, the reason that plants can do photosynthesis is because they have chloroplast. Um, the chloroplast combines the carbon dioxide and the water with the sun's energy to make a glucose molecule and oxygen. Now once that glucose molecule is made, um, it's not in a form that, the, that a plant or a human or an animal can use. It has to be converted from glucose into a form that your cells can use called ATP. And that's done in the mitochondria. Okay, the more mitochondria you have, the faster that that can happen, the more efficient that the organism can be at converting glucose into energy that your cells can use. Okay, so um, a little rundown here. We have energy from the sun, goes into the plant. It's absorbed by the chloroplast. Um, the plant itself absorbs water through its roots, and it also absorbs carbon dioxide through its leaves. How does it do that? Uh, there are little tiny openings in the leaf called stomata. They are things that are able to open and close and are used for gas exchange for carbon dioxide going in and oxygen going out. Um, this is um, basically the process of what happens in photosynthesis. Okay, running back through here, um, chlorophyll is the green pigment the plants that aids in the reaction. Photosynthesis is the chemical reaction that takes place and allows them to make food, which is a form of sugar or carbohydrate. The reaction takes place in the chloroplast and it uses energy from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water to produce sugar. This reaction releases oxygen back into the environment. Sugar molecule is then sent to the cell's mitochondria to make ATP so it's in a form that your cells can use. Uh, hopefully you'll find this beneficial and uh, that's all for today. Thanks. Bye.